This is number one. That's a bit close, that. Mm. Perfect. Hello everybody and welcome to our fabulous launch of our Winter Wibblers uh, gatherings and this is gatherings one and two. So the first and second of the releases that we did, we've actually done you a gathering of each of them and we've brought them out together. So this is our set of dies and we've done them, look, as Swift, which is just amazing and they'll go through your baby blues as well which again is just fabulous but look at all the cuts that you're getting in one go so let's look at the first die set so this is this is die set number one let's say edition first edition so if you remember we had that lovely crazy looking little moose we had our gonk and we had our snowmen uh, so we've done him again all three a lot smaller and then we've given you these even smaller ones now where the actual dies have got an orientation such as him the little one faces the the int so they can have a conversation so we've done the opposites for you so on here i've used the actual winter wibblers collection itself the main dies so i've snipped some of the christmas tree off i've used one of the branches and I've done this like trees, so all those little trees that you got with it originally. And then I've nested in the tiny little ones as if they're hiding. And we've got the larger ones at the front. So that is set number one. So that's gathering number one. So let's have a look at gathering number two. And look at these, aren't they adorable? So this is the second one. And again, similar kind of uh, format as before. We've got our snowman. We've got that gorgeous little girl and again, the gonk, okay? So again, we've given you them. If they're facing in different directions, we've done them the opposite. So you've got uh, more choice of how to use them and build your projects. Um, she's got her hands in her pockets and obviously one's looking one way, one's looking the other. Again, we've done that for you. But in addition to that, when I've actually put them together for you, I've used the main collection, the original collection, for this so the, the second one and what i've done is i've used those big trees i've tucked in some of the branches at the back done like a swag or garland so this is actually could be a card topper that we've made i've used the sleigh popped three bigger ones in and i've de decoupaged even these, these little ones you can still snip into them and decoupage them and then the houses from the original collection I've used as houses for the little people. So they're in a little forest and we've got three of them tucked in there and the three little individuals as well. So it is a super cute couple of dies. They really are versatile as well because they're just gonna make the other collections grow, okay? It gives you so much more um, scope to play with. So you've got that um, distance, you've got the um, foreground the middle ground and the background so it's going to be really good to be able to build up that kind of imagery or project that you're wanting to do but they're just a super cute characters so i'm going to think about doing a demo that creates and uses all of them together because of course they will work together so all i'm going to do is firstly i've got an a4 piece of card Okay, I'm going to do a tent fold, okay? So I'll pop that to one side. I've got myself some mirror card. That's going to be my matte layer on here. And I've also got myself a couple of prints. Now these are from the original, the very first one, the main collection that we did. We did some backing papers for it. And that's what I've decided to go with with this. I've chosen two and I can either go with one that's snowfall or I can go with one that's a little bit different and maybe Scandi. So I'm just gonna lay out the characters and have a feel and a play for what I'm looking for because I am gonna use the trees and I'm maybe thinking that we could have a choir. So we could have a choir of all these characters all come together to have a little sing. But look, when you've got that swift system, look how many you can cut out. It is just fabulous. Now, when I do my decoupage, I always think about the decoupage layers in three, okay? So I always put them into threes first, no matter what I'm doing. So we have our little characters. 
I mean, they are super cute just on their own. So now think, maybe printing these on printable acetate or uh, maybe these this size onto shrink plastic, uh, print them on that and then shrink them down. Aren't these just adorable little badges and earrings, etc.? They're just super cute. And they've all got little happy faces, which is just lovely. So that is that one again. And then, so we've got those, got those. We'll go with that, I'm quite happy. Maybe I need another one of the little gonks. But when you're cutting out, because it's a Swift, you're gonna cut several of these out all in one go. And I have them ready to go like we have here. We have our lovely Amber, who does a, does a lot of the cutting and things and putting all of this together for us. So we're ready, set to go. Then we've got the super cute originals, okay. So I've got the larger one of all three. And then I've got the minis, which again, I think are just adorable. I want a larger one of him, a mini of him, and a larger of him. So all I'm thinking now while I'm putting all of this together is where am I going with my composition? And I do think I'm gonna go with the Scandi. So first of all, I'm going to make I'm sorry this, if this is flashing and flaring on the screen, I'll be as quick as I can to measure this. Okay, so I'm using our lovely pokey tool, which is in our Craftmaster toolkit. And this is how I go when I'm making cards. I just put a score line on. Very rare do I say that I'm making a seven by five card or etc. I make the card as it just comes along and then I make an envelope if it needs to be, or I use our fabulous boxes. So you know those frames that we've got, I'd probably use that and use that as a, a, an actual box. So that's now my first one, and that can go in place. So let's stick that down and it's out the way. Okay, like this. And again, using my pokey tool, one, to. And what I've done there, I've only taken when, because I've used uh, finger lift tape, okay? Now finger lift tape have got, has got this uh, wax, um, like coated, plastic coated tape on the back of it, so it's easy to pull it away. But a little tip for you is when I've done something like this, or I'll do all four, is only take so much of it off. So now when I flip that over, all of this is still on and all of this is still on. So I know that when I'm positioning that, I've still got, none of that is touching. The tape hasn't touched, okay, until I, I put actually stick it in place. So I line it up, when I'm happy with how I've got that lined up, then I just touch there and there, and then take the tape away. Because it still gives me that wiggle room to be able to um, change it if I want to change it. So now the next thing is, I want that Scandi feel, but I want it at the top up here and I'm gonna put all my characters at the base. Okay, so again, because our printer prints an edge, I'm gonna take all of these edges off first, or at least two of them, and then I can see what the rest of it is like. So take that away. Line that up again. Not very much measuring goes off, I must admit. I'm gonna put a mark on there, a mark on there. Now you may not be able to see it, but I can. So my first one is here. Put my glasses on. There it is. And then my second one is just there. like so, and obviously that is then another card, or several cards. And this one I am going to put foam tape on because I want to add that matte and layer. Now at this point, when you're doing cards like this, you can then go in with your glues and add your glitter, just like I have here. Let me just bring this board back in. All I've done is done glue dots just dots and sprinkle glitter on and it gives you that lovely bit of sparkle and then that tiny little flash 
of um, the mirror behind really makes that, that difference. So again, when I've put my tape on, I've only done it on two sides because it's a consumable. We don't want to waste it. And I've also put it straight across the middle, okay? I'm not going to take that backing off. I don't need to because this is going to be strong enough to hold all this together. The only reason that is there is so it doesn't collapse in the post or get squashed. And again, I've done the same thing again, only taken off those two pieces of tape. And then it gives me the opportunity to then move it around and get it in the right place. Like so. And then I touch that there. And that's that one on. Happy days. And now we can fill all of this up. Now let's go back to the collections. Now the original collections had some adorable trees and things in there. If you remember, all of this is with the originals. And that's what I've, I've used. So I'm going to take out a few of the trees. And this is how I would work generally. I just pull a few out, not many. We've got a little bit of a, a demo going on there, I think. Like that. So I'm happy with those. Pop that to one side. So I've got a few, and then I want the bigger ones from this one. So let's have one or two of those. Okay. Like so. I'm not sure that I need any of that. That can go away. I might have a little bit of this. So let's pull a couple of these. We'll see how it goes along, what the composition pulls, you know, what it looks like when I've got the characters in situ. Because again, I might find that I want to um, have things hanging or maybe these little elements, they can be holding. Okay, so let's start building. Now, I want in the background my trees. Let's have the big ones and I'm only shaping them just generally with my fingers to add a little bit of definition and then on this one because we can actually do this and it's okay to do this just build up your tape so this one's going to stand further forward okay so oops use your tools Manda it helps there we go so I'm thinking about the composition. I know I'm wanting most of the characters in the middle. So now I've got to think about balancing. So I want that one there. And this one's got the most dimension because it stands forward. That one there, okay? So we've now brought everything on the card to the forefront, okay? Everything's aiming at this. And then I'm gonna shape some of these. I'm gonna put some glue gel on the back of these. Okay, and I have some pieces where I've got little bits missing. Now that's okay to have pieces missing and I love my applicators. These again are on our website. So if you drop onto highlightcrafts.com and go onto our website, the glue applicators, I'll even give you the CM number. So it's Craftmaster 0019. They are just amazing. Not only for glue, for dotting with your paints and everything, they are just a brilliant little tool to have. Okay. And again, my glue gel, I love this glue gel. Have I taken the top off? I thought I had, I have now. Okay, so a little bit of glue on here, like so. And I'm in control when I'm doing this, taking a little bit at a time. And now, again, thinking about the composition itself, I'm gonna lift that up and slide that and hide it underneath like that, okay? Then my next one. Like so. And again, I'm thinking about that now being forward. And what I've done is extended it out, but I've made it more focused here where our little characters are gonna go. So I need to put a few more of the trees in and then I can start bringing in the characters and where they're gonna sit. And then that's gonna allow me to put the present in, to put the garland in as well. So again, I'm not really um, thinking about how many of these I'm adding um, glue to. 
because they'll all go on eventually because there'll be a place for them okay whoops and then maybe another one like so okay so now I'm now thinking about where I'm building all of this I'm going to move that off center because I can cover it up with another one and by moving them up and down again it's giving you the perspective of things being further away and closer to us and then this little one can go here now let's bring in all these fabulous characters so we choir we're a choir we've brought them all together to have a sing-along so we have <laughs> our fabulous moose he can start he can be in the middle or the conductor then we have our lovely snowman with his amazing hat i'm going to put him here and then i have where is he have i lost some people no i haven't okay got this one so the moose is from the original the snowman and the gonk that i'm putting in here are from issue the second issue number two so he stood just amongst the trees. So I'm happy with where he is. So all of these can now be situated in place like this. And then our little snowman. And I know there are some fabulous um, cadence uh, products that we could also be using with this. So remember, he's the, he's the tall guy. He's the conductor. He's bringing in, so he's also drawing the eye, so we can actually, he's fo we're focused on him. This little gonk, or the larger gonk, is in between, nestled in between the trees, like so. Then we have the original and this snowman. Okay. So again, let's put a little bit of glue on these, and then we need the little girl in there, don't we? Yep, and then we can put all the cute little characters in as well because that's why we have all of these. So you can build up those ideas on all of those different projects. But I just love to be able to bring them together and have a little singing choir because they may not be Carolyn. It could just be a choir that's come together. Okay, so he is going here like that and I took him in because he's facing this way so he's looking at this gonk and going oh what are you hiding behind there what are you up to he can nestle in because they like hiding in between the trees like so then this lovely little girl is at the forefront and then we have our tiny characters so we've got one two three four, five, six. Now all of that can go that way, like so. We've got present and we've got our extra, extra foliage. So now let's build up on this because I've gone with the Scandi feel with the backing paper and this was just lovely. Like a scandy esh tree and trimming so it's very natural one and then all of our little characters can all hide in amongst the others so I have a piece of tree here that's been chopped off so that is now going to add a little bit of extra height like that and it's a color change of difference as well which is fabulous and each one of these we don't need all of them we'll go with Definitely the little girl. And we'll only do make sure that I've got those those three. I want the striped hat. Okay. So one, two, three. And again, these little characters are tiny little tuckings. Or they could be the siblings or children or grandchildren of these fabulous little characters that we've got going on okay it's cute
cute little girl. So we've got two sisters here that have come. Okay. I'm going to put one more in here because I want him to be hiding. And that goes in. I took him right behind the tree like that, all the way in. So he's just peeking out at the back. And then we have a few of these presents, which again, these are from the other collections. And I just love these. So I have a big bow here. Whoops, other way. I want that big bow and I want a couple more of these presents. When I can find them, they're in this one. We have our sleigh, like so. And we've got several sizes of these presents, so let's just pull out a few of these like this. So now let's add a little bit of shape. Do we want the sleigh on there? Absolutely we do. Like so. Pull that forward. So that sits really nicely on there. Got the beautiful bow that can go on top of the tree. Like this. Okay, because that could be the one they're taking home. And then we have a few of the presents that are all different sizes on some circumstances with these. Okay, so I've got three that are going in the lovely. That one is there for that little girl. And then these can sit nestled in the sleigh like so. And that is bringing all of our trees and foliage, etc., together. I'm going to add a little bit more height at the back of the sleigh. There, like that. So remember, all of these, we could go really over the top with our fabulous glitter, etc. all over here. We could add a little bit more foliage and have them over the top, but that could be, even if it's from my, our home to your card. So this is a group family shot and you can pick out who all the individuals are. So it could be mum and dad and aunties and uncles that are on here. But that is just a super cute card using all of the Wibblers that we've now launched, those fabulous gatherings of, of number one and number two, in conjunction with the actual uh, main collections from the Wibblers as well. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of inspiration. Okay, um, show us all your makes. We like to see what you're making with our collections as well. So send them to highlightcrafts.com and uh, they'll pop them on the post or even share them within our Facebook pages that we've got as well. And um, come and join me again soon for a little bit more inspiration. You take care. Bye.